welcome to Best Graphics. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. as usual people asking uh, what is the diagnostic tool or what is the difference between the OEM diagnostic tool and the aftermarket diagnostic tool yes aftermarket diagnostic tool is just like a, a general doctor okay he can do anything but uh, he can go beyond that it's specialized uh, the OEM tools is a specialized tool that means a general uh, a general tool aftermarket tool can do a general broad of cars at the same time you can do Toyota Honda all cars but it have limits the opposite side of uh, OEM which is original one is only do the, the uh, it's only work on the cars that is specified for today we are going to work on two uh, give you information about one which is a GM what GM use and what it has GM is start by using tech one after tech one they start using Tech 2. Tech 2 is for Saran, GM, and also uh, Azuzu also use it. And they stop using it after 2013. They come up with another tools. Uh, they call it um, MDI, uh, MDI. And MDI also, they keep updating MDI 1, MDI 2, but you're using the platform that you have to download it. You have to have a subscription to download it, and it only lasts for 30 days. Let me show you here now. We have here. This is a Tech 2. The Tech 2 is, there is Tech 1, very old one, but this is a Tech 2 that it does all the functions of programming, diagnosis, troubleshooting for GM, uh, General Motors, which is including uh, Oldsmobile, Sarans, and, and uh, Buick, General Motors, or Chevrolet and General. They keep using this one with the OBD2, and there is OBD1 also, from you know, like with the cart. The cart is in the back here. You see that cart? You put a cart inside here, and you will still and you start working. I don't know where I put those cart. Let me see if it's here. I'm gonna give you an example of one cart. See anything? Maybe it's inside here. Yeah, those are the cards. Those cards, for example, GM have the same card. Uh, um, Saab also using the same card. Uh, sub, you know, like you're using the card on the platform, it start working for you. They're using this one, and after 2005 or six or something, new car coming like they're using for five six years or ten years or some some amount of time i'm not sure they come with a new car technology change computer change they say okay am i are we going to buy another one they say no let's make some adapter so they come up with a candy this is this candy here now what you're going to do is you're going to disconnect this one and put the candy this one you're going to put it on the candy side I'm sorry, I'm just doing videos. And this one here, you're gonna use it here. Now, with this one, you can do all the functions, diagnosis, programming, and uh, diagnosis and everything with this one up to 2013. After, how you gonna, how it's gonna work, this for diagnosis, how you gonna do programming. Programming, it have an earsnet here, and you have to use uh, a cable to the computer, and you can download the software that you want it directly from the server into from the server into uh, from the server into the the, the the card that is here and you go back you go you put it into the car get the information and 
you download the software and you come back and put it in the car and it work. But also you can use it at the path through device. You just plug it in, plug the information, and then you can download the, the software directly. But this it work only stand alone up to 2007. After 2007, now they change. Before they send you a CD every uh, other day update. It have all your software. Now they change that one, and they come up with MDI one. This MDI one, I just give you a quick information. You can. MDI 1, this is MDI 2. With MDI 1 and MDI 2, now they come with this one here. This one here is not only a path through device, you can use it as a path through device. Uh, it has USB connector. And this is MDI 1, original, and there's MDI 2. Uh, you connect this one to the computer and to the laptop, and then this to the car. It works at the path through device and is recommended for especially the newer cars, which is they have another uh, kind of communication line, which you cannot do it with any other path through device. This is for by the way. Now, when you use this one here, this the good about it with this one you can use uh, use it as a diagnostic tool for the newer cars 2020, 2021, 2019, 2017, 16. Uh, some even you know like you can use it as a diagnosis with a platform called GDS. How are you going to get the GDS? The GDS, you have to have a subscription on this web. After you have a subscription and you buy your stuff, you're going to come here on Access Extend. Let me show you. Access Extend. And then you come here, click on this, and say yes. Then you go to GDS. Click GDS. Start GDS2. You're gonna view download. You're gonna wait for it when it's coming. Now you're gonna say run. Run. Now it will start downloading the GDS. The GDS is a platform for all Ford, I mean, I'm for GMC platform. You can do diagnosis, you can do Saturn and General Motor all the functionality of the diagnostic that you will be able to do it on it it does it and it does it very professionally it does it very professionally but you cannot do programming this is a diagnostic uh, some cars if you are using a regular scanner you will not be able to communicate with some modules because they are, they are talking with a different protocol so if you are if you work on gm professionally you can have uh, this platform ready. It works only with this one. You can work only with any path through device, but it's limited to some module you will not be able to communicate with. But when you use this one here, approved, it works fine. At the same time, you can diagnose the car, do all the functionality, and go back to, to, uh, to programming at the same time, download the software, and it's very accurate. You need to have a new laptop like this. Please, GM upgrade his laptop. It have some specification that you need to follow. Last time I tried to program the car, I couldn't. I did everything I cannot. I have to go buy this laptop. And it have a really very, very uh, clear specification. They can even help you set it up and you will work with it. Here is uh, the platform that now is preparing to download it. So I'm gonna click next. See, finish database. You see here, those are the form successfully installed, successfully installed, successfully installed. I'm gonna say okay, I'm gonna show you how it look like. I don't have a car here, but yes, you see here. Now you're gonna set it up. You need English, say okay. And you can switch from Saturn to GM if you want. But here is a place and it's only work is you know what you want. Okay, I'm coming. Also, example of aftermarket. This is Maxi 6 or 8. This is Snap-on. Okay. This is also Maxis. Those are aftermarket one. This also one. 
okay and on and on this also one this only for ml for example and uh, you you just name it but if you need to work on 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 uh, original oem for example this is a nissan original consoles 3 plus we're going to talk about it later on uh, you must have you must have original tools to approach and do the right work okay as you see here now is everything downloaded download new new download so you have sub if you want to work on sub cars you have to choose sub if you want to work on gm you have to click here you got you're going to confirm, confirm first and now downloading it for you the, the two package and the update after you download it it will ask you what uh, for example, what uh, what what car do you want to use? If you want to use uh, GM, you're gonna click on GM. If you want to use um, if you want to use uh, Saturn, also you click on Saturn and and change the the platform. Right now, I have Saab Global GM. I mean Saab. Global, everything is okay. Do you want to install Saab? Or you want to install GM now? Which platform you want to work? I want to work on GM now. So install GM. It work only 30 days. After 30 days, you have to renew it again. So now you get you you, you need to restart the application. But I don't want to. This is here. This is the application here. You see now I have 20 days left. With this diagnostic, you can diagnose GM. You can do all what you want. You do your programming. I'm doing GM now. If you want to do SAP, you're going to switch it and do SAPs. This is for MDI 2. Even MDI won't work. This is a perfect approach. I'm going to do, I'm going to go and diagnose 2021 Chevy. I need to program the remotes. I need to program those remote. You can use this one. I don't know if I can use the other tools, it work or not, but this is a brief information about how GMC work. Do not try to approach working on new cars with the older diagnostic tool. It may not help. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. This is Muhammad Harun Idris and Best Car Fixes. Please subscribe share and like and see you in another video if you have any question please feel free to ask and uh, next we're going to check and see if i can talk about ford uh, scanners where they start and what do you need if you need to work seriously on ford by the way the power of aftermarket tools also is great and they are there and they're working fine some tools when you use on dealer tools, you cannot have all what you want in functional, they block it. But aftermarket tools, they bypass those at the end engineering. I don't know what the secret beyond it, but they work on it. Thank you. See you in another day, another video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you.